die for us, then we are to be saved and live as if we are. Come to Jesus. Run to the cross. He was arrested for you. He, he was tried for you. He was treated like a criminal for me and you and the whole world. He died on the cross for you. Do you know him? I think some of us are born with the idea, and that's sad. What a Christ. What a salvation that he brings. Can you say glory to God in the highest? Glory, glory to, to God in the highest. Now you don't have to have great faith to be a witness, but you need to truly know him. Yes. But to know him and the power of his resurrection. The whole journey. Amen. And it doesn't take as much as you think to be a witness. Some of us need, need to do a whole lot less than what we've been doing, and some of us need to do a whole lot more. Some of us need to be changed all the way around. Amen? Amen. To be transformed, to be conformed to the image of Christ, to look like Jesus. <laughs> Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Enkindle in us. Send forth your spirit. Come.
Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Father, we give you praise this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the hour that we have spent together. We thank you, God, for the presence that I felt this morning. And Lord, I am encouraged and inspired, and I am blessed by those who are in attendance today. And for those who could not be here with us this morning, Lord, we're asking for a special blessing upon them. Lord, for Mike and Amanda and the boys uh, as they're making their way back. Uh, Lord, from Kentucky, Lord, that they would have traveling mercy. Yes. And that, God, that we would see them again very shortly back in the fellowship. Yes. And, Lord, continue to be with them as they uh, look forward to this coming week. Celebrating yet another, another year of holy wedlock. And, Father, for those that are here this morning, we ask you, God, Lord, for you to touch them, Father. Touch their bodies. Uh, Lord, there are those this morning who, who need a special touch. If you have a special physical need this morning, would you lift your hand right now? Hallelujah. Take that right hand and say, Father God, fill this with your, gra your grace and your mercy. And then lay it on your head. And now, Lord, fill me. Fill this body. Touch me. I thank you, God, that you have provided for me atonement for my sin and healing for my body. And I receive it in Jesus' name. And likewise, lay it on your heart and say, Father, thank you for the peace. The peace that transcends my situations, my circumstances. Yes. That God, that you would give me peace and a hope. A hope that is to come yet, but also a hope that we have yet to live a day before we're called home. Yes. Lord, let us go this, this afternoon. And Lord, as we fellowship, may you find yourself a place at the table. And may you be welcome. Lord, we welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome you, God. And Lord, thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for us. Thank you for giving your life that we might live. We thank you in Jesus' name. Everyone said, Amen. 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 I have a testimony. Testimony time. Okay. Uh, Get loud. Okay. Uh, Tell them. Yes. Uh, I'm going through with some things right now. I don't know if you know about uh, my cancer. And my uh, sets. I had to all kinds of tests and get my eyes and stuff. They thought that I thought I had a blockage from one way up, but when they get in there, he just takes a COVID. It was just a shadow. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, yes. amen. amen. And I, my cancer, they on my eye, and I put some cancer on my bones. And my uh, blood notes. There's a little cash right there. Amen. Yeah. 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 And uh, they're just they're just in my prostate now. They're now I have to go through uh, about six weeks of uh, therapy. And, uh, I'm hoping they're going to be paying for it. They'll take care of that problem too. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. I, I witnessed a great miracle yesterday. My nephew and his girlfriend got married. And my little brother, my youngest, and my sister have never got along all their life. And all he does was call her names and everything. And yesterday, as soon as I seen him, he didn't even say nothing except for starting on her to me twice. And I just ignored him. Well, yesterday at the um, at the reception, they were standing and talking, and he hugged her. Uh -huh. <laughs> he told her he was sorry. Okay, my brother, that. nobody's better than my brother. He's better than everybody. So it was a real miracle. Amen. Yes. <laughs> She's been praying about it. Brother Ed, would you pray? Uh, and the ushers will be by the back door. Somebody else have a testimony? Yes. Yes. Um, Speak loud. On Friday, I went to have a blood test redone uh -huh. for my kidney values. And I've uh, been praying for okay. healing. And they've gone up at least 19 points. Oh, well, praise the Lord. Yeah. It might not seem important to a lot of people, but I know Sister Debbie likes her dog. And this little dog I had, I thought it was going to die.